put in my nose because I currently have a flu so it just helps me have like a clear airway for me to breathe. Right now I'm just waiting for my parents to get here to be with me before I go into the procedure. I'm also waiting for the doctor to mark me up. I'm so nervous. But everything will be okay. I'm about to get the IV right now. And the doctor should be here in any minute. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my breast augmentation surgery. So I had my surgery back in December and this video has been long awaited. You guys have been anticipating this video, requesting on it because you have a lot of questions, which I'm here to answer all of your questions. I did post on my Instagram um, that I was going to be filming this video. So I kind of wanted to know if you had any questions. That way we could use those questions and answer them here on the video. So I did get a couple of questions which I kind of screenshotted and we're going to be answering those questions right here. So we're going to start off with, um, so I'm just going to go like in order on how the questions were asked. And so the first question was, did you regret doing it? So when I got my surgery back in December, I went in there and I was just really confident because a lot of my friends have gotten breast augmentation surgery. So they had told me that like it was the most smoothest surgery they had ever gotten. It was not painful at all. And I just went in there thinking and feeling the same thing, you know, I really thought that I wasn't going to feel anything and that I was going to come out, you know, feeling good and everything was going to be great. So after the surgery, I automatically, when I woke up, felt so much pain, you guys. The pain was ridiculous. I don't think I've had so much pain in my life aside of my freaking cramps when I get my period um, ever in my life. So I was just really like confused. I, I didn't know why it hurt so much. I mean, I kind of knew, but I was still confused because I was like, why Why didn't my friends feel as much pain as I am feeling right now? And of course, everyone's different. Everyone's pain tolerance is different. So while um, recovery, like the first week, you guys, I'm not kidding. Yes, I did regret it. Like for, for a minute, I did regret it. I was like, oh my God, like what did I do to myself? Like this is crazy. Like I was just in shock that I did something so huge because I had never had surgery ever in my life. I was just so in shock, you guys. And since it was so painful for me, and I'll go ahead and like kind of tell you more in detail why it was so painful right now. But yes, you guys, I did regret it for like a second. But after that, I was, I was good. Another girl asked, how did you know how big to go? So I wanted to do this surgery since like a long time ago and I remember going in 2016 with my parents I told them to take me to the consultation with the doctor. I had done a lot of research on doctors here in Texas and I automatically fell in love with um, the doctor and I wanted to go with him so I scheduled a consultation you guys I, I think back in the day I was like what 18 or 19 I don't even remember or 19 or 20 somewhere around there and I remember doing the the consultation and my parents took me my mom thought I was freaking crazy she was like oh my god like why are you even scheduling a consultation if you know that you don't have the money to pay such a big surgery but I just wanted to go to see what the doctor would tell me what he would recommend and everything because I had so many questions so just to get that out of the way I just decided to do it back in 2016 I was skinnier than what I am before I was probably like 20 pounds lighter so whenever I tried the implants on I had gotten a B size because normally I was a 32A you guys I was so so small and it was such an insecurity for me and I just didn't like it you know so I wanted to go bigger and so the doctor recommended me to get a B since I was so tiny and so I stuck with like the size B right so then I didn't end up getting the surgery because I was really young and I didn't have the money to obviously get such a big surgery. So I asked a lot of questions to the doctor and this and that. So in my mind when last year when I like 
kind of told myself, you know what, this is a year that I get my breast augmentation. This is a year that I get the surgery. And I was very like precise with my decision. And I went again with the doctor. So I did another consultation. I went on my own. And I kind of like tried the implants again. And I was going to get a B again, you guys. But to me right now, a B would, would have been really small. My opinion was that like if it was spending so much money on a surgery, then it should be something worth it, you know? And I thought that a B was so small for the money that I was paying for. So I kind of went up a size. So I went to a C. And I tried on the implants and everything and I was super in love. And then... I went to a second consultation with the doctor and I was like, you know what? I think I want to like go a size up. So a D and he was like, are you sure? And I was like, yes. And he was like, they're going to look great on you. Like I know they are. And he was asking me like, what kind of profile do you want? Do you want a high profile? Do you want a medium profile, med profile or do you want a low profile? And I was like, no, I don't want something like more low just because just so it could look more natural so i ended up getting a d you guys so from an a i went to a d so like really drastic change really drastic uh difference and so i guess that you know what size you want to go because the doctor's telling you what fits you and also they give you the opportunity to try on the implants and like you put the implants inside a special bra that they give you and then you put your like blouse and stuff and so you get to see yourself in the mirror and they take pictures of you from like sideways from the from the front and you kind of have an idea or give yourself an idea what's gonna look best for you that's how i kind of knew what size i wanted to go so yeah from an eight i went to a d size you guys all right so another question was how much did it cost you and where did you get it done so i got it done in san antonio like i said i did a lot of research with a lot of doctors here in texas i knew that i wanted to get it done here in texas and um i found this doctor in san antonio his name is dr john ayala to me, you guys, he was the most amazing doctor. He answered all of my questions. He made me feel super comfortable the day of surgery. And it was just a really nice experience. And if I were to get another surgery, it would definitely be with him. He is amazing at cosmetic surgery. And of course, I'm not trying to convince any of you guys to do surgery because I know that everyone has their different opinions when it comes to surgeries. But like to me, I don't think surgery has to do anything with negativity or anything like that so i mean if surgery is gonna make you feel better with yourself then go for it the cost uh it was eight thousand five hundred so to a lot of people it is very pricey just because you can go to a really good doctor in mexico and get it done and sometimes you can even get two surgeries done with the amount of money that i paid here for a breast augmentation but honestly you guys i just felt safer here in the united states getting the breast augmentation so i feel really good i, I think the price was good do you still feel sensitive um i do feel sensitive just because it's barely going to be four months and the recovery my doctor said that to fully recover it takes up to a year so yes i am still feeling sensitive like i touch I touch them and I do feel like sensitivity. From the outside, it's it could seem that you are fully recovered, but in the inside is where it takes a lot longer to like actually heal, you know? You have to remember that they're cutting you to put an implant in you, so yes. It does take a while to heal from the inside. So another question was like, where you got it done? How much? And the recovery. So I already answered the first two questions. The recovery, so I honestly thought that I was gonna be good in a week to go back to work so my job was really easy to work with when it came to the recovery just because they were very understanding and they knew that i had to recover and like rest up so i honestly thought i was gonna be fully recovered in a week again this was my first surgery i had no idea what i was getting myself into so i i thought that a week it was gonna be enough for me to recover but i was wrong so since i went um from an a a 32 a cup you guys to a d obviously the recovery was a lot more than just a week i recovered like i felt better like in a month so i, I had to take 
three weeks off from work which obviously I wasn't prepared for. Thankfully, I did have a savings, so that kind of helped. Guys, if you're planning on doing a surgery, you just have to be ready for the recovery process because you just don't know if you're gonna heal in a week or two or it's gonna take you a month or a month and a half. So you have to be prepared for obviously bills and all that stuff. So have a savings apart just so you can have money and you'll be feeling stressed. But that's the least thing that you want to be stressed when you're recovering. So just make sure that you have enough money saved up so you can be good to pay any bills that you have for that month and that you're not working. So the recovery the first week was really, really painful. Like I said, I went from an A cup to a D cup. So the implant was input under the muscle you guys so not only my skin but the muscle is also you know um stretching so it was really really painful i'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it was the smoothest surgery that i have ever gotten that i didn't feel any pain because i sure did i couldn't do much you guys so the worst thing that happened to me was when i woke up that day from surgery the hospital was extremely cold you guys so cold so i ended up getting like a little bit of flu or like i just got sick i got a sore throat i was coughing and i had a runny nose you guys i was already feeling so much pain on my chest so imagine coughing oh my god i thought i was gonna die because it was just so much and then to top it off i got my period so Mind you, like I get really bad cramps when I'm in my period. I was just so scared when I noticed that I got my period because I was like, oh my God, I'm about to get like the worst cramps. And then like the pain over here, like it's just gonna be double the pain. I'm gonna die. I was just so, like so, so overwhelmed with everything going on, you guys. And then since I was like getting sick, I was coughing so much and then I had to sneeze. Ugh. The first two, three days were horrible. I, and that's where I'm telling you guys that I kind of regretted it because I was like, no, like, why did I put myself into this? Like, I didn't have to. Well, the second week I was already getting a little better. My mom had to help me to bathe, you guys, because I had to be really, really careful to taking a shower because I had to make sure that no water went into the incisions just because the doctor said, if you get water in those incisions, you could get an infection and then everything goes downhill. And I was like, hell no. I'm not gonna i'm not i'm not about to get an infection because i'm already in so much pain so i have to take care of myself extra you know so i was obviously um with the with the band or they kind of put like a oh yeah, i don't know what they're called una banda so like this could be protected right and obviously the incisions had tape and everything so like my mom had to be very careful when she was washing my hair and like the body and so we're just just extremely careful you guys so that's one thing that you have to be um careful with like when taking showers and stuff just make sure that you don't get water or soap in the incision area. um so yeah the third week i was already good um i couldn't even stand straight you guys because the skin was so stretched so like i was kind of like this like i wasn't even like standing straight or sitting straight and i was walking like this also so i had to like slowly like go back to normal and like make myself straight sit straight walk straight and everything because like i had to help myself heal as well like if i were just doing this like all the time like i wasn't gonna let myself heal correctly so i had to like slowly like kind of stretch and just help the skin stretch as much as it could um also i had to be doing massages on breasts that way you know the skin could loosen up a little bit and it wouldn't be so tight so yeah the third week i was already like doing my hair and doing my makeup um, I did have to be sleeping in the living room just because I couldn't sleep like in a flat bed I had to be sleeping sitting down you guys so I slept sitting down for three weeks not kidding because I couldn't lay down like that was one of the requirements that the doctor said like after surgery you have to lay kind of like inclined you can't lay down flat so I was like okay I was living in the sofa for over a month 
<laughs> my friend said everything haha cost prep recovery how you chose the size you follow. so the prep like bef before the surgery i went ahead and bought um alcohol because you had to be cleaning the ins i had to be cleaning the incision with alcohol every single day just so it could keep it clean and um, prevent it from any infections i had to buy like little pads to put under the incision even though it, it had tape like i had to be putting like pads with tape so it could be just protected from any dirt or anything i had to buy pineapple juice if you're getting a surgery so the pineapple juice helps you with the um, inflammation i also got tylenol from the dollar store just because i knew that i had to be taking medication afterwards because i was in so much pain you guys it came to the point where the medication that the doctor gave me i think he had given me like a super strong medication i don't remember what it was called but he had given a super strong medication that i had to be taking every six to eight hours you guys i was taking it every three to four hours and the doctor got so mad at me because he was like you can't be taking the medication every three or four hours like you're gonna hurt your liver they're so strong and like you should be able to wait out until it's time to to take the medication again like you can't be taking it every so often now it's like it's because i can't like it's just so painful like i need to have more like pain medication in me because it's, it's just unbearable and i had just to be really really strong you guys um and then I wasn't eating also because I had just lost my appetite for some reason. I don't know if it was because I was taking too much medication. Like, I just lost appetite. So, it was, like, I was also really scared because I was like, oh my god, like, I'm taking so much medication, but I'm not even eating. And the incision, I got it under the breast. Um, I know there's many ways to put the implant you can either put it on the armpit through the nipple or through the under breast so i decided to do it on the under breast that was my decision i made sure that i worked out a lot before going into surgery because i knew i was going to be out of the gym for over a month i worked out so so much that way whenever i went back to the gym it wasn't so hard to get back in shape and also i wouldn't lose so much weight but i did you guys so i lost a lot of weight just because i wasn't being active at all like i was just laying down and i wasn't eating as much so i did lose like six to seven pounds so. who was your doctor so my doctor was dr janayala in san antonio so if you guys ever go with him or make a consultation tell him that i sent him. and are you happy with my size absolutely i am really 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 happy with the size that i chose I feel like it just complements my body very well. I am very petite, so it doesn't look fake. It doesn't look like too much. I feel like it just looks perfect. And that's kind of what I was going for. I was aiming for something that looked natural and not too fake. You get me? So that's why when the doctor asked me for the profile, like what profile I wanted, obviously you can choose whatever you want. Of course, it's preference, but I kind of wanted to go open with a low profile so kind of looks more natural is it a fixed price for it or does pricing depend on certain things so i think i did ask this question to the doctor i think it is a set price so i think that's what the breast augmentation would cost eight thousand five hundred um back in 2016 when i went to the first consultation it was about six thousand dollars you guys he was doing it in a certain hospital so since he moved to a different hospital um which is more high end the price had to go up and where did you get it done and how much of you don't mind sharing so i already answered that kind of like the questions were kind of like the same honestly i had seen before surgery so many youtube videos on girls that had done breast augmentations and like i would see them like nothing and so that's why i went so confident and to the hospital room and like when i was waiting for my surgery i was just like really happy super relaxed which i think kind of helped because i wasn't scared like i just went in like nothing but then afterwards i was like oh my god i'm dying obviously i asked the, the doctor which was my main concern is am i going to be able to breastfeed if i ever get pregnant um with the implants right and he's like since the implant is under the muscle yes you can so i'm so happy that i could breastfeed without any problems and also one of the questions that you guys forgot to ask is not it's not just about getting implants and yeah like i look super pretty and that's it no you have to ask about like am i gonna be able to breastfeed am i gonna be able to take the breast exams that we get yearly checked on i think for the cancer that whenever you go to those ex like yearly exams you do have to tell the person that's checking up on you um that you have implants just so they could be a lot more careful 
with you because of course it's there's an implant in there so they're going with the machines and like you know squeezing them and everything so you just want to be extra careful with that did one drop less than the other my left didn't drop like right only notice it but still so i think that they look the same i i do feel that one is tighter than the other like it's more sensitive than the other but in regards to like dropping i feel like both have been dropping the same when i got my breast augmentation you guys he my my breasts were like up here traumatized because i was like like my breasts look so weird they look so, like what did i do they did you guys like they did look really weird and they they didn't look round and they looked flat it was because the skin was really tight again i went from an a to a d so my skin was just in shock you don't need any surgeries to feel good about yourself i feel like you should love yourself regardless of um getting any surgeries or not um but me i felt like this was just something that i really wanted since a long time ago and i was able to do it and i did it you guys and it was something that i told myself ever since i was young it's something that i want and i'm gonna do it regardless and i had a lot of people tell me like you don't need it and like this and that and like you do whatever makes you happy and if you feel that it's gonna make you feel better about yourself then do it you know obviously do your research take your precautions and know what you're doing know who you're going with don't just go to a random person because it's cheap because obviously that has its consequences but i i really love them you guys i'm really happy i feel like it just changed me a lot also like the clothes that i wear it, it just looks so much better because when i didn't have any you know i struggled so much with dresses and with shirts because they would like fit loose from the top and it was just so annoying you guys on <laughs> now it's not a problem and i'm just so happy with everything that i wear now everything fits amazing this video i hope that it helps you in any way and like i said i know that everyone has their own opinions when it comes to surgery but come on you guys we're in 2020 and if you want to go do something to yourself because it's just gonna make you feel better go for it you know you have the money you have the resources to do it then by all means this video was very very high requested so i really hope that you enjoyed watching and that i answered a lot of your questions and i am gonna be putting some before and after pictures right here so you can go ahead and see the difference so Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment something nice in the comment section below. Bye, guys. I'll see you on the next one.